Probability is the measure of the likelihood that an event will occur. See Glossary of Probability and Statistics. Probability quantifies as a number between 0 and 1, where, loosely speaking, 0 indicates impossibility and 1 indicates certainty. The higher the probability of an event, the more likely it is that the event will occur. A simple example is the tossing of a fair unbiased coin. Since the coin is fair, the two outcomes, heads and tails, are both equally probable. The probability of heads equals the probability of tails. And since no other outcomes are possible, the probability of either heads or tails is one half, which could also be written as 0.5 or 50 percent. These concepts have been given an axiomatic mathematical formalization in probability theory, which is used widely in such areas of study as mathematics, statistics, finance, gambling, science, in particular physics, artificial intelligence, machine learning, computer science, game theory, and philosophy to, for example, draw inferences about the expected frequency of events. Probability theory is also used to describe the underlying mechanics and regularities of complex systems. Interpretations When dealing with experiments that are random and well-defined in a purely theoretical setting like tossing a fair coin, probabilities can be numerically described by the number of desired outcomes divided by the total number of all outcomes. For example, tossing a fair coin twice will yield head-head, head-tail, tail-head, and tail-tail outcomes. The probability of getting an outcome of head head is 1 out of 4 outcomes, or, in numerical terms, 1 quarter, 0.25 or 25%. However, when it comes to practical application, there are two major competing categories of probability interpretations, whose adherents possess different views about the fundamental nature of probability. Objectivists assign numbers to describe some objective or physical state of affairs. The most popular version of objective probability is frequentist probability, which claims that the probability of a random event denotes the relative frequency of occurrence of an experiment's outcome, when repeating the experiment. This interpretation considers probability to be the relative frequency, in the long run, of outcomes. A modification of this is propensity probability, which interprets probability as the tendency of some experiment to yield a certain outcome, even if it is performed only once. Subjectivists assign numbers per subjective probability, i.e., as a degree of belief. The degree of belief has been interpreted as the price at which you would buy or sell a bet that pays one unit of utility if e, zero if not e. The most popular version of subjective probability is Bayesian probability, which includes expert knowledge as well as experimental data to produce probabilities. The expert knowledge is represented by some subjective prior probability distribution. These data are incorporated in a likelihood function. The product of the prior and the likelihood, normalized, results in a posterior probability distribution that incorporates all the information known to date. By Amund's agreement theorem, Bayesian agents whose prior beliefs are similar will end up with similar posterior beliefs. However, sufficiently different priors can lead to different conclusions regardless of how much information the agents share. Topic. Etymology The word probability derives from the Latin probabilitas, which can also mean probity, a measure of the authority of a witness in a legal case in Europe, and often correlated with the witness's nobility. In a sense, this differs much from the modern meaning of probability, which, in contrast, is a measure of the weight of empirical evidence, and is arrived at from inductive reasoning and statistical inference. Topic. History The scientific study of probability is a modern development of mathematics. Gambling shows that there has been an interest in quantifying the ideas of probability for millennia, but exact mathematical descriptions arose much later. There are reasons for the slow development of the mathematics of probability. Whereas games of chance provided the impetus for the mathematical study of probability, fundamental issues are still obscured by the superstitions of gamblers. According to Richard Jeffrey, 
Before the middle of the 17th century, the term probable Latin probabilis meant approvable, and was applied in that sense, unequivocally, to opinion and to action. A probable action or opinion was one such as sensible people would undertake or hold, in the circumstances. However, in legal contexts especially, probable could also apply to propositions for which there was good evidence. The 16th century Italian polymath Gerolamo Cardano demonstrated the efficacy of defining odds as the ratio of favorable to unfavorable outcomes, which implies that the probability of an event is given by the ratio of favorable outcomes to the total number of possible outcomes. Aside from the elementary work by Cardano, the doctrine of probabilities dates to the correspondence of Pierre de Fermat and Blaise Pascal, 1654. Christian Huygens gave the earliest known scientific treatment of the subject. Jacob Bernoulli's Ars Conjectandi and Abraham de Mavre's Doctrine of Chances treated the subject as a branch of mathematics. C. Ian Hacking's The Emergence of Probability and James Franklin's The Science of Conjecture for Histories of the Early Development of the Very Concept of Mathematical Probability. The theory of errors may be traced back to Roger Coates's Opera Miscellanea, posthumous, 1722, but a memoir prepared by Thomas Simpson in 1755, printed 1756, first applied the theory to the discussion of errors of observation. The reprint, 1757, of this memoir lays down the axioms that positive and negative errors are equally probable, and that certain assignable limits define the range of all errors. Simpson also discusses continuous errors and describes a probability curve. The first two laws of error that were proposed both originated with Pierre-Simon Laplace. The first law was published in 1774 and stated that the frequency of an error could be expressed as an exponential function of the numerical magnitude of the error, disregarding sign. The second law of error was proposed in 1778 by Laplace and stated that the frequency of the error is an exponential function of the square of the error. The second law of error is called the normal distribution or the Gauss law. It is difficult historically to attribute that law to Gauss, who in spite of his well-known precocity had probably not made this discovery before he was two years old. Daniel Bernoulli introduced the principle of the maximum product of the probabilities of a system of concurrent errors. Adrien Marie Legendre developed the method of least squares, and introduced it in his Nouvelles Methodes pour la détermination des orbites des comètes new methods for determining the orbits of comets. In ignorance of Legendre's contribution, an Irish-American writer, Robert Adrain, editor of The Analyst, 1808, first deduced the law of facility of error. Phi x equals c e minus h 2 x 2 display style phi x equals c e caret h caret 2 x caret 2 where h display style h is a constant depending on precision of observation, and c display style c is a scale factor ensuring that the area under the curve equals one. He gave two proofs, the second being essentially the same as John Herschel's 1850. Gauss gave the first proof that seems to have been known in Europe, the third after Adrain's in 1809. Further proofs were given by Laplace 1810, 1812, Gauss 1823, James Ivory 1825, 1826, Hagen 1837, Friedrich Bessel 1838, W. F. Duncan 1844, 1856, and Morgan Crofton 1870. Other contributors were Ellis 1844, De Morgan 1864, Glacier 1872, and Giovanni Schiaparelli 1875. Peters's 1856 formula for R, the probable error of a single observation, is well known. In the 19th century authors on the general theory included Laplace, Sylvester Lacroix 1816, Littrow 1833, Adolf Quetelet 1853, Richard Dedekind 1860, Helmert 1872, Hermann Laurent 1873, Liagre, Didion, and Carl Pearson. Augustus de Morgan and George Boole improved the exposition of the theory. 
Andrei Markov introduced the notion of Markov chains 1906, which played an important role in stochastic processes theory and its applications. The modern theory of probability based on the measure theory was developed by Andrei Kolmogorov .On the geometric side see integral geometry contributors to the educational times were influential Miller, Crofton, McColl, Wollstenholm, Watson, and Artemis Martin. Theory Like other theories, the theory of probability is a representation of its concepts in formal terms—that is, in terms that can be considered separately from their meaning. These formal terms are manipulated by the rules of mathematics and logic, and any results are interpreted or translated back into the problem domain. There have been at least two successful attempts to formalize probability, namely the Kolmogorov formulation and the Cox formulation. In Kolmogorov's formulation see probability space, sets are interpreted as events and probability itself as a measure on a class of sets. In Cox's theorem, probability is taken as a primitive that is, not further analyzed and the emphasis is on constructing a consistent assignment of probability values to propositions. In both cases, the laws of probability are the same, except for technical details. There are other methods for quantifying uncertainty, such as the dempster schaefer theory or possibility theory, but those are essentially different and not compatible with the laws of probability as usually understood. Applications <inaudible> 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 Probability theory is applied in everyday life in risk assessment and modeling. The insurance industry and markets use actuarial science to determine pricing and make trading decisions. Governments apply probabilistic methods in environmental regulation, entitlement analysis, reliability theory of aging and longevity, and financial regulation. A good example of the use of probability theory in equity trading is the effect of the perceived probability of any widespread Middle East conflict on oil prices, which have ripple effects in the economy as a whole. An assessment by a commodity trader that a war is more likely can send that commodity's prices up or down, and signals other traders of that opinion. Accordingly, the probabilities are neither assessed independently nor necessarily very rationally. The theory of behavioral finance emerged to describe the effect of such groupthink on pricing, on policy, and on peace and conflict. In addition to financial assessment, probability can be used to analyze trends in biology, e.g., disease spread, as well as ecology, e.g., biological Punnett squares. As with finance, risk assessment can be used as a statistical tool to calculate the likelihood of undesirable events occurring and can assist with implementing protocols to avoid encountering such circumstances. Probability is used to design games of chance so that casinos can make a guaranteed profit, yet provide payouts to players that are frequent enough to encourage continued play. The discovery of rigorous methods to assess and combine probability assessments has changed society. Another significant application of probability theory in everyday life is reliability. Many consumer products, such as automobiles and consumer electronics, use reliability theory in product design to reduce the probability of failure. Failure probability may influence a manufacturer's decisions on a product's warranty, the cash language model and other statistical language models that are used in natural language processing are also examples of applications of probability theory. Mathematical treatment Consider an experiment that can produce a number of results. The collection of all possible results is called the sample space of the experiment. The power set of the sample space is formed by considering all different collections of possible results. For example, rolling a dice can produce six possible results. One collection of possible results gives an odd number on the dice. Thus, the subset 1, 3, 5 is an element of the power set of the sample space of dice rolls. These collections are called events. In this case, 1, 3, 5 is the event that the dice falls on some odd number. If the results that actually occur fall in a given event, the event is said to have occurred. A probability is a way of assigning every event a value between 0 and 1, with the requirement that the event made up of all possible results in our example, the event 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is assigned a value of 1. 
To qualify as a probability, the assignment of values must satisfy the requirement that if you look at a collection of mutually exclusive events events with no common results, e.g., the events 1, 6, 3, and 2, 4 are all mutually exclusive, the probability that at least one of the events will occur is given by the sum of the probabilities of all the individual events. The probability of an event A is written as P A P A P a display style p a or p r a display style text p r a this mathematical definition of probability can extend to infinite sample spaces and even uncountable sample spaces using the concept of a measure the opposite or complement of an event a is the event not a that is the event of a not occurring often denoted as a a Display style overline a a caret complement neg a or a display style sim a. Its probability is given by p not a equals one minus p a. As an example, the chance of not rolling a six on a six-sided die is one. Chance of rolling a six equals one minus one six equals five. Six display style equals one tfrac one six equals tfrac five six. See complementary event for a more complete treatment. If two events A and B occur on a single performance of an experiment, this is called the intersection or joint probability of A and B, denoted as p a b display style p a cap b. Topic: Independent events. If two events A and B are independent, then the joint probability is P A and B equals P A B equals P A P B. Display style P A M box and B equals P A cap B equals P A phosphorus monoboride. For example, if two coins are flipped, the chance of both being heads is one two times one two equals one four. Display style tfrac one two times tfrac one two equals tfrac one four. Topic: Mutually exclusive events. If either event A or event B, but never both occurs on a single performance of an experiment, then they are called mutually exclusive events. If two events are mutually exclusive then the probability of both occurring is denoted as p a b display style p a cap b p a and b equals p a b equals 0 Display style p a m box and b equals p a cap b equals zero. If two events are mutually exclusive, then the probability of either occurring is denoted as p a b. Display style p a cup b. P a or b equals p a. B equals P A plus P B minus P A B equals P A plus P B minus zero equals P a plus p b 
Display style P A M box or B equals P A cup B equals P A plus P B P A cap B equals P A plus P B minus zero equals P A plus P B. For example, the chance of rolling a one or two on a six sided die is P one or two equals P one plus P two equals one six plus one six equals one three Display style P one M box or two equals P one plus P two equals TFRAC one six plus TFRAC one six equals TFRAC one three. Topic Not mutually exclusive events. If the events are not mutually exclusive, then P A or B equals P A B equals P A plus P B minus P A and B Display style P left a H box or B right equals P A cup B equals P left a right plus P left B right P left a M box and B right. For example, when drawing a single card at random from a regular deck of cards, the chance of getting a heart or a face card J, Q, K or one that is both is 13 52 plus 12 52 minus 3 52 equals 11 26 display style tfrac 13 52 plus tfrac 12 52 tfrac 3 52 equals tfrac 11 26 because of the 52 cards of a deck 13 are hearts 12 are face cards and 3 are both here the possibilities included in the 3 that are both are included in each of the 13 hearts and the 12 face cards but should only be counted once topic <laughs> conditional probability conditional probability is the probability of some event a given the occurrence of some other event b conditional probability is written p a B display style P A mid B and is read the probability of A given B. It is defined by P A B equals P A B P B display style P A mid B equals frac P A cap B phosphorus monoboride P B equals zero. Display style phosphorus monoboride equals zero. Then P A B display style P A mid B is formally undefined by this expression. However, it is possible to define a conditional probability for some zero probability events using a sigma algebra of such events such as those arising from a continuous random variable, for example, in a bag of two red balls and two blue balls four balls in total, the probability of taking a red ball is 1 2 display style 1 half However, when taking a second ball, the probability of it being either a red ball or a blue ball depends on the ball previously taken, such as, if a red ball was taken, the probability of picking a red ball again would be 1 3 1 3rd since only one red and two blue balls would have been remaining. Inverse probability. 
In probability theory and applications, Bayes' rule relates the odds of event a 1 display style a underscore 1 to event a 2 display style a underscore 2 before prior to and after posterior to conditioning on another event b display style b the odds on a 1 display style a underscore 1 to event a 2 Display style a underscore two is simply the ratio of the probabilities of the two events. When arbitrarily many events a display style a are of interest, not just two, the rule can be rephrased as posterior as proportional to prior times likelihood. P a b p a p b a Display style p a b propto p a p b a, where the proportionality symbol means that the left hand side is proportional to, i.e., equals a constant times the right hand side is a display style a varies for fixed or given b display style b. Lee, 2012. Birch McGrain, 2012. In this form it goes back to Laplace 1774 and to Cournot 1843, see Feinberg 2005. See inverse probability and Bayes' rule. <laughs> <laughs> Summary of probabilities <laughs> Relation to randomness and probability in quantum mechanics In a deterministic universe, based on Newtonian concepts, there would be no probability if all conditions were known Laplace's demon, but there are situations in which sensitivity to initial conditions exceeds our ability to measure them, i.e. know them. In the case of a roulette wheel, if the force of the hand and the period of that force are known, the number on which the ball will stop would be a certainty though as a practical matter, this would likely be true only of a roulette wheel that had not been exactly leveled, as Thomas A. Bass's Newtonian casino revealed. This also assumes knowledge of inertia and friction of the wheel, weight, smoothness and roundness of the ball, variations in hand speed during the turning and so forth. A probabilistic description can thus be more useful than Newtonian mechanics for analyzing the pattern of outcomes of repeated rolls of a roulette wheel. Physicists face the same situation in kinetic theory of gases, where the system, while deterministic in principle, is so complex with the number of molecules typically the order of magnitude of the Avogadro constant 6.02 times 1023 that only a statistical description of its properties is feasible. Probability theory is required to describe quantum phenomena. A revolutionary discovery of early 20th century physics was the random character of all physical processes that occur at subatomic scales and are governed by the laws of quantum mechanics. The objective wave function evolves deterministically but, according to the Copenhagen interpretation, it deals with probabilities of observing, the outcome being explained by a wave function collapse when an observation is made. However, the loss of determinism for the sake of instrumentalism did not meet with universal approval. Albert Einstein famously remarked in a letter to Max Born, I am convinced that God does not play dice. Like Einstein, Erwin Schrödinger, who discovered the wave function, believed quantum mechanics as a statistical approximation of an underlying deterministic reality. In some modern interpretations of the statistical mechanics of measurement, quantum decoherence is invoked to account for the appearance of subjectively probabilistic experimental outcomes. See also Chance disambiguation Class membership probabilities Contingency Equiprobability Heuristics in judgment and decision making Probability theory Randomness Statistics Estimators Estimation theory Probability density function and law balance of probabilities Topic Notes <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Topic: Bibliography. Kallenberg, O. 2005. Probabilistic Symmetries and Invariance Principles. Springer Verlag, New York. 510 pp. ISBN 0387251154. Kallenberg, O. 2002. Foundations of Modern Probability, 2nd ed. Springer Series in Statistics. 650 pp. ISBN 0387953132. Olofsson, Peter 2005, Probability, Statistics, and Stochastic Processes, Wiley InterScience. 504 pp ISBN 0471679690 External links Virtual Laboratories in Probability and Statistics Univ. of Alla, Huntsville Probability on In Our Time at the BBC Probability and Statistics ebook Edwin Thompson Jane's Probability Theory The Logic of Science Preprint Washington University 1996 HTML index with links to postscript files and PDF first 3 chapters People from the History of Probability and Statistics Univ of Southampton Probability and Statistics on the Earliest Uses Pages Univ. of Southampton Earliest Uses of Symbols in Probability and Statistics on Earliest Uses of Various Mathematical Symbols A Tutorial on Probability and Bayes' Theorem Devised for First-Year Oxford University Students 1. PDF File of an Anthology of Chance Operations 1963 at UBAweb Introduction to Probability – ebook, by Charles Grinstead, Laurie Snell Source New Free Documentation License In English in Italian, Bruno De Finetti, Probabilità e Induzioni, Bologna, CLUEB, 1993. ISBN 8880911767 Digital version Richard P. Feynman's Lecture on Probability